Till now, 110 running viewers running. And <coughs> it's going to be the resources to understand. How much indoor resources are used for running the application? Like processor time, file data operation, processor fuel, wait for processor fuel, it's time, which is the max mean. Favorite is somebody division and the supervisor is graphical interpretation. And you can see also from how much users are going up. Interpretation. And transition graph, transition constant with the logging, the logging, the price, price, the sign off. So from this chart we understand individual transactions response time and the base of service level agreement. So you see it's running and pointing to the rendezvous point where I put in the slide. So in this section, most of the users come to this point and they go to different uh, module of the software. And from this part, you can understand. The result login transistor per second is point zero seven sign in off is not yet detected flight is not yet detected but that is hundred percent sign in off is little bit problem flight is little bit problem 
fight any of these two people then what this one so depends on basically the acquisition so we can understand later how do we can figure out whether the application is failing for processor memory hard disk network or all the components of the top server so I'll show you gradually all, all the components Here, see, in that point, people are meeting each other. That means the rendezvous point. That means it's the rendezvous point, and it takes more than the normal time because all the about 100% of the user will come this point and go later date will go to different mode. Of the software, so from that is good. So from this panel, you can understand what's going on. See, it's coming up to the end of it. And here you can see the other parts of the data. Um, click for a second to put HTTP response that's the okay. Connect that button second and in this case, what I already have shown you. Right. <coughs> this is the time for data application to second. This is what you learn. Actually, it's a very high. You know, it, it will be not more than two. And memory gigs time, how much gigs is reading in this, and pool page, not pool page, it, it related with the memory, virtual memory <coughs> consumption. And memory was using part of the memory is allocated constantly. So the higher is the more it will be in the memory, it blocks the system and and it will delay from running the software smoothly. Let's see. How we see from the tax manager as performance consumption. See, from the consumption we are seeing CPU utilization is 100% and memory is consumption. So it is obvious that when we put Extra load, it consumption of CPU is 100%. So, we need to have more processors 
discrete or more CPU, more powerful CPU. And you see the page and non page thing which is related with the kernel memory. So it has to be one of the things that to consider. Okay, and the processor, like the bouncing, why is bouncing? Sometimes it drops and sometimes it's not. And processor, lots of processors is going on. Okay, so from this part, I hope you understand how to measure the application software performance. It's a sim simple application, not so complicated, just to give an idea how close how we can measure performance through software performance with load runner. Okay, and I'll show you other part of the thing later hopefully.